There'll be an interview with Terry Wiles in Late Night Lineup, which begins in 45 minutes. Tomorrow evening, here on 2, there's another chance to see Jenny Barraclough's award-winning film, first shown in 1970, which traces the short and tragic life of a young girl. Abandoned by her mother as a baby, she suffered severe emotional deprivation and proceeded through a series of children's homes and remand homes until she ended up in Holloway Prison, where she was introduced to drugs. Gail is dead tomorrow night at ten past eight. Now on BBC Two, Newsnight. Eight days to go in the Knowsley North by-election. Newsnight's poll puts Labour way out in front. Good evening. The first opinion poll of the Knowsley North by-election on Merseyside has been taken by Newsnight, and it shows the Labour candidate heading for a substantial victory. Vincent Hanna reports from Merseyside on a lively campaign fought against a backdrop of high unemployment and in-party fighting. Across the Atlantic, the voters are already at the polls. After the last campaign of the Reagan presidency, Charles Wheeler looks at the likely results of a close-fought contest in which the Democrats expect to wrest control of the Senate from the Republicans. And in Hungary, 30 years ago today, the popular uprising that for a brief moment looked as if it might just succeed was crushed in a few hours by the weight of Soviet armour. And it happened just as Britain and France were preparing to launch their troops into Egypt. Dennis Healy recalls how he was in the spearhead of the Labour opposition's attack on Britain's role. All that later in the programme. With eight days to go, the Labour Party is on course for a comfortable victory in the Knowsley North by-election on the 13th of November.